Today we're gonna make something like this in Apple Motion. So this video is inspired by Iman Jadzi's video, which is the timeline. Um, I will call it like timeline. So it is very easy to do and the steps are easy to follow. Let's hop on to motion and see how it is done. Let's look at my project settings. Usual 1080, frame rate 29.97 frames per second. I have my reference image. Let's create a rectangle. Change the fill mode from color to gradient. Let's put this in a group, command shift G. Let's rename that group as BG. Let's add our numbers. Let's group our text, so select them all, command shift G. Then rename it as numbers. Next step is let's make these dashes. To do that, press B on your keyboard to make a bezier, and then create your line. Then once you're done, press enter, turn off fill, let's go to library. Then here on the shape styles, type dash. Then you have two options, we have the dash medium and dash small. Let's select dash medium. While, select, while your bezier is selected, press apply. Then we have this one. So go to stroke. Then here on the brush scale, let's increase the Y. Go to this option with over stroke. Add a point on the middle. Then this left and right points, let's drag it down. So this will control the end of our bezier line. If you want more space between your dashes, so go to brush scale and then reduce this X. Let's group this bezier line and dash, command shift G. Let's rename that group as dash. Then let's add an image mask, command shift M. On our numbers group, clone that, press K on your keyboard. Then this clone layer, drag that to the image mask. Go to image mask and then select invert mask. While your image mask is selected, go to filters, stylize, and then min max. Change the mode from minimum to maximum. Then increase the radius, let's say 11. That looks fine for me. Then the next step or the, another thing we need to do is this. Maybe this is uh, island or something else. So to do something similar, go to add object, generators, generators, and then clouds. Turn up the per second and fourth layer strength. Then here on the gradient, adjust this color option here. Something like uh, this. Then you can adjust the horizontal and the vertical scale also. Then turn up speed. While your clouds is selected, Go to filters, mask and keying, and then luma here. Then let's drag these clouds underneath our numbers. And here on our BG, clone that, press K on your keyboard. This clouds generator, let's group that, so command shift G. Let's rename that as map. Then let's add some image mask, so command shift M. Drag the BG clone layer to the source well. So we have something like this. Then this map group, go to properties. Change the blend mode from normal to soft light, so something like this. And then let's adjust this a bit, so maybe around uh, this one. Then one more thing, let's add the filter for this, so map, filters, distortion, and then underwater. Change the speed to zero, and then the size, make it smaller. Then go to map, and then check fix resolution. You can play around more with the gradient in the clouds to achieve a bit of like this. Okay, then let's adjust this a bit more, something like this one. Okay, 
then let's make this compass quite easy press c on your keyboard to make a circle go to shape turn off fill turn on outline let's add some text press t on your keyboard then let's make that characters and then let's group them the text command shape g while all of them are selected let's rename this group as pointers then clone this one here on our circle uh, let's add some image mask command shift m drag the clone layer of the pointers then same from earlier select invert mask then go to filters stylize min max change the mode from minimum to maximum increase the radius then lastly is this arrow so go to shapes then select triangle apply that then add edit points add another point here on the middle then just drag it like at this okay now let's put this triangle to the middle of our compass then let's group them all so select the circle and the triangle up to the up to the triangle command shift g let's rename that as compass then let's also animate this triangle so let's add some keyframes for the rotation let's now animate our dash so select your bezier then here on the behaviors select shape and then right on then around let's say 215 cut that off or trim that press o on your keyboard then let's go to our first frame and we will have this kind of animation okay so the next thing is let's animate our numbers so select go to your numbers group select our first number then go to behaviors basic motion and then fade in and fade out so let's time it at the same with our dash line okay so that's how to do that if we look at our animation okay then let's go to our bg go to rectangle go to shape then here on the geometry let's add some roundness then this rectangle let's group this one command shift g then clone that one drag the clone be below the rectangle increase the scale to around 105 or too much 103 it's okay and then change the opacity around the 50 percent lastly go to shape again the rectangle and then let's animate our x scale or let's animate our y scale so go to the first frame add some keyframes okay let's adjust its keyframes or in the handles let's group compass up to numbers command shift g then let's add some image mask command shift m then drag this bg clone layer to the source well then if we look at our animation we have now accomplished the similar effect from his video then one more thing let's now change the perspective of our rectangle so go to properties then here on the rotation, the Y rotation, let's adjust it, then adjust the position. So you can tweak the size of your rectangle here on the BG. If you don't want this kind of height, you can also adjust the scale using the main group. Something like this one. Okay, so that's how to create this timeline or steps inspired by Iman Gadzi. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something new. Thank you and see you again next time.